Welcome back. I'm First Alert meteorologist Jamie Ertle, and we are looking at major Hurricane Milton expected to make landfall Wednesday evening in the Tampa Bay area as a Category 3. It's a Cat 5 now with 165 mile power winds. It will weaken in strength, not necessarily in size. It'll expand a bit, and that's why we're going to feel some effects from it. But the storm will have major implications in Tampa Bay and storm surge. Much more storm surge than what we're expecting, and much more more wind, but we are under a tropical storm watch. That's from Beaufort, Jasper, Chatham, Bryan, Liberty, Long, McIntosh, Wayne, Glen, Camden, and Brantley counties. And just to our south, a hurricane watch in place for Duval County. That's Jacksonville. A storm surge alert in place from Beaufort all the way down to the Golden Isles. Maybe two to three feet of storm surge. So coastal flooding a possibility. Wind gusts 50 plus at the coast, and that's high end. Rain may be heavier to our south and the tornado threat is low. It's really non-existent. However, there could be a water spout that tries to make its way on shore and I don't want to take that off the table, but it is very low. We're also watching the tides Fort Pulaski uh, Thursday around two o'clock. A 10.2 foot tide is expected. Minor flooding begins at 9.5. The road usually floods at 10.5 thanks to the uh, leveling and um, shoring up of the road they did a few years ago. So 40 to 50 mile power winds possible from Beaufort all the way to Brunswick, 30 to 40, 95 west. There's going to be a sharp cutoff with this storm. And I'm going to show you the extreme, uh, the highest wind gust possible with one particular model. So this is Thursday, 4 a.m. And we're looking at 20 to 30. Here are the 40s that we're talking about. Beaufort, Savannah, Hunter, Army Airfield, Hilton Head. But look at this. Golden Isles, Brunswick to St. Simons, possibly 60 plus mile power winds throughout Thursday. Notice that we're just seeing some low 30 mile power wind gusts, that 95 cutoff. Uh, back to the west, so it's not going to be a wind event for all you folks still trying to rebuild and gain power in Appling County and Bacon County, even in Claxton to Tattnall that we just saw, and then winds will subside Thursday, but still seeing pr some pretty gusty winds for the Golden Isles Thursday evening. Now look at the rainfall totals. This was kind of um, extreme for the American model, but the rainfall totals have come down, but notice the sharp cutoff here. Very, not, very little rain uh, for US 1 uh, north of 16 and not a lot of rain for south of the Altamaha away from the coast. And that's with the GFS, the American model and the European model is saying that as well. Maybe a little bit higher totals uh, south of the Altamaha closer to the coast. Fair and fair, first alert live radar on a slow sweep. Look at our morning lows. Ah, refreshing, going to be cooler still come the weekend. We will make it up to the middle 80s with lots of sunshine on our Tuesday. Then things change on Wednesday. Cloudy conditions, slightly breezy, maybe a transitional day for our first alert weather day. 64 for the morning low with a high of 73. And watch out, Hurricane Milton approaches from the south, and this is very little impact for west of I-95, and it moves off the coast, and we're done with it and heading into the weekend. Looking great, looking dry, looking more like fall. Don? Thanks so much, Jamie. Well, FEMA